Hello and welcome to this Millennial Review, where today we're taking a look at this Ink Irma DM262 bilateral laser measuring device. Now, this device was sent to me by Ink Irma for this review, but uh, it is a pretty neat little option to be able to get accurate measurements uh, straight from your hand rather than using you know, a good old-fashioned tape measure. Now, this particular unit, I'm going to compare to this Bosch unit, this GLM30 that I've had for many years now. But a couple of things are really big that make this Ink Arma a intriguing device, and we'll test them out in just a few. Now, the first piece would be uh, this particular unit is what's called a bilateral laser measuring device, which means that like a standard laser measuring device, it points forward and only goes in one direction, whereas this one has a laser on both sides. And that means you can hold it in the middle of whatever project you're doing, and it's going to automatically get the distance. So right there comes out that the room that I'm in is 14 foot, one inch uh, in width. Now, the other things to talk about this device is this device is $79 at regular pricing. It does have a carrying case, which can be set up to go on your belt if you so want. It is going to be USB rechargeable, which is a great thing and a nice addition. Love to have that over the old school battery system that the Bosch units are still using. And then along with all that, in the owner's manual, there's quite a bit to read as far as different functions and options that this uses. Now, I've got a bit of a head start on you guys because I've used this for a project. Uh, and I'll bring you along later on to show you what I used it for. But I do want to just go over the essential functions of this device before we go much further into it. Will mention a little bit larger than the Bosch unit. This runs $79.99 and uh, occasionally there's some incentives. So I'll have this link down in the description below. But then the Bosch units, uh, the modern version of this is about $100. So when I turn this on, I'm going to turn this on here. We've got a few things to go through on our screen. First off, we're going to have the measurements up top. You can tell which measurement we're going for, which is just end to end distance. And then something I really like is that it's got a angle meter that you can see regardless of what you're doing with it. And then of course, a power icon. So that battery system will drop down further, the more power that you use. Another cool feature on this, when we look at uh, the keypad, this one is gonna allow you to rotate the screen. So if you're holding it this way, you can rotate the screen, holding it opposite way, you can again. And then of course, vertical. When we look at that compared to the Bosch unit that I have, uh, yeah, it doesn't. Just, uh, just stays in one position. The next thing would be, this is a color screen, which makes it pretty nice. And then we've got this button, which will allow us to start scrolling through the different settings. Now, as we go through these settings, I can go over and we'll go ahead and use this one. This is just going to be point measuring going out. You then have your square footage. So if we go over to that, that's going to allow us to get the square footage of the area length times width, which is where we've got those two measurements. I'll show you how to use that later on. You do have a volumetric measurement as well. This is going to give you full volume. So if you're painting ceilings, walls, you can then just take out the floor. And it does have a few options for Pythagorean theory where you can get the height just based on angle. Now, this is something that the Bosch units uh, can do, but the challenge here is you have to be really static at where you put the device. Whereas this one, because it's got a bilateral laser, I'll show you when I use it, you can literally just stand there, get angle to the top, angle to the floor, and get the height measurement. And it's really accurate. I've tested that out a few more times. And then something I definitely like in case you don't want to hear it, can press and hold, mute will happen, and now the buttons don't make noise. Personally, I actually like having the volume just because in a loud work site, you can't always tell uh, when you're pressing the buttons. Well, anyways, now that we've taken a look at everything that's here, I think it's time we go ahead and take this out and I'll show you how to use it on a project and realize. All right, so as you can see in here, uh, this space really is in need of updating and we're gonna be able to use our uh, 
in Kerma device or Inkerma device, uh, that DM262, uh, to make some pretty easy work in measuring it out. Now, of course, because I want to be able to uh, get area for here because this carpet is going to get replaced with some uh, laminate, we're going to be able to move over to the area measurement. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's going to need two measurements. And to do that, I just need distance. So because it's got two lasers bilateral, we can actually get the distance right here on the device. Let me go ahead and rotate the screen. It's going to read a little bit easier. But so with that, all we've got to do is just take our first measurement. So in this case, 5.873 meters. And I should change this up. It's too bad it doesn't seem to remember it. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in feet with inches. So that means 19 foot 3 inch and uh, 3 sixteenths. Now I need to get width. The same deal. Laser on one side. Laser on the other side. Simple enough. And go ahead and click that. And that means I'm going to need 217 square feet. Of flooring. Now that's pretty cool, but you say, well, we've got to paint this place up, uh, make it look quite a bit nicer. Let's go back over into our options and now we can do volume. So if we go ahead and click on volume, same deal, just got to do our width, take that, take length, just like we did before. And then, finally, we've got to do height. The same deal, pretty simple. And click that. And now we've got a volume of 1,692 feet. And I can subtract the area measurement for the floor from that. And then I know at least how much paint I need for the walls, uh, as well as subtracting out, of course, our windows. Last thing I want to show here is let's go ahead and use this device, I'm going to rotate it again so we can look at it vertically. Use this device to be able to find uh, the height of a wall. So maybe I want to know the height there. The ceiling is uh, in fact sloped, so it's going to be two different measurements. And for that, we can move over, grab our first angle. Effectively, what I can do is just get our little measurement up on the ceiling. It's going to take the other one to the ground, and then it's using the angle of this device to be able to know what it comes out to. So you just hit enter and we've got a ceiling height of eight foot, one inch and nine sixteenths. Now that's going to be a good approximation because my hand's shaking a little bit. Uh, that is going to affect what it comes out to. But if we go back to our single point of measurement, I could just use the back button, put this up against the wall and that's going to measure down to the ground and up to the top, hit enter. Look at that. It's within a, a 16th or so. So that is really cool. I, uh, I love having that option on here, especially since, uh, let's just go back one, see how much difference it is with the other side. So get this angle, device, boom, seven foot, three inches. And if you wanted to use this for even more things, we can check out, say, this railing system that is being put together at the moment. This has an angle of 37 and a half degrees. I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this device. I love that it's USB rechargeable instead of the, uh, the old fashioned batteries. Although that does mean you need to be a little cognizant to make sure that you do charge it up. But the battery lifespan uh, should be pretty good on this unit. Past that, uh, all of those different options to be able to use angle, to be able to use the lasers, really make this a unique offering and with an msrp of 79 dollars right now uh, which is about 20 dollars less than a much more basic Bosch unit uh, that is not a bad price as well as i've seen quite a few times they put coupons on these as well so you can get you know even 15 or 30 more dollars off from that standard price of 79.99 although that standard price uh, seems to be worth it with this unit and when i was comparing it to the Bosch unit, it was giving out very reliable, very similar measurements. And that means I've got good faith that this unit is properly calibrated. 
Well, anyways, thanks for joining me on this video. Let me know your thoughts of this Eek Irma uh, DM262 down in the description below. While you're at it, be sure to hit subscribe. And if you're interested, use that affiliate link down in the description. Uh, helps out the channel and costs you nothing.